It's a lot of fun to uh, be back in the Wabash Valley area. There's a, been a long history of good basketball. Um, obviously, I was fortunate to be uh, a great part of that. Uh, we had some really good teams at White River Valley. Uh, it's fun to uh, show recruits around on campus and, you know, they ask, well, where did you play? And, uh, you know, we were able to play the regional and, and semi-state when it altered between uh, here in Evansville, uh, the Holman Center. So a lot of great memories uh, playing in that building. It's very humbling uh, when, when you have a, uh, you know, parents or, or coaches that reach out to you and, and talk about, well, you know, remember when you used to play and they would, or they'll start to tell their son, yeah, you know, Coach Graves was a pretty good basketball player back in his day. And uh, the nice thing, uh, you know, there's VHS tapes, so nobody has uh, access to watching those anymore. So uh, we can kind of fib a little bit and tell a few lies on uh, how good we really were. Coach Stevens, uh, you know, has been a big part of, uh, you know, my coaching philosophy. Um, you know, he's, he's a friend. He's someone that, uh, you know, I can call and I know he's going to answer and pick up. And we still, you know, we talk, you know, about once a week or so, uh, just staying in touch. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, we spent 12 years together uh, at Butler. We shared an office uh, for the first two years. And, uh, you know, we have kids that are roughly the same age. And uh, so we just kind of grow up and but, uh, you know, even before that, uh, Coach Todd Licklider, who's the, you know, now the head coach at the University of Evansville, you know, he's the one that gave me my start in college. Um, so, you know, certainly thankful for that. And, you know, the six years that I spent with him learning uh, a lot about more than just being a basketball coach, but really how to evaluate players, how to, um, you know, get the most out of your guys and be really diligent with how hard you work. I've known Coach Schertz for about 10 years and uh, we've kind of followed each other from afar and um, you know I, I've really admired what he's been able to build at uh, the Division II level and when he uh, got the job he, he called me up and, and offered me a position here. Um, I just felt like being here I had a chance to help him transition to the Division I level with the, with the experience that I've had but also selfishly I felt like I was going to learn a lot and you know I'm still trying to learn and grow as a coach uh, you know even doing this after 20 years there's there's always a lot to learn I can learn a lot more and to be around you know him and, and his philosophy and how he runs a program and how we're going to play offensively and, and what we're going to do defensively I just felt like I could have a greater impact on the student athletes here and also learn and grow and develop as a coach as well. So it, it was the perfect package. My family is really important. My, my wife, Susan, is, is unbelievable. She uh, understands how this works. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll have uh, good times and bad times, and, and we've been through it together. And it's, it, it's, we, we've had a lot of uh, fun journeys and met a lot of great people along the way. And, you know, now that my, my two daughters are in high school and watching them grow and develop in, in their two different sports. And, um, you know, it's hard not being able to see them play as much as I would like to, but, you know, they also get to experience things that, uh, you know, other kids aren't able to do. Uh, you know, hang around a, a college campus and meet players or, you know, go on charter flights and or experience a, you know, foreign trip here and there. So. Uh, you know, those experiences, um, you know, hopefully will shape their lives as they, as they move forward. And then, you know, I couldn't forget about my mom and dad who, you know, are 50 minutes down the road and they're going to be a lot of, uh, at a lot of Sycamore games this year. So uh, certainly looking forward to that as well.